Thank you very much for being here. Welcome to The Tonight Show, everybody. You're here. You made it. Thank you for watching at home. Let's get to some news. Well, guys, with all the holiday travel being planned, President Biden has proposed new rules that require airlines to show consumers the actual price of plane tickets, including baggage fees and other extra costs, before they buy. Yeah. Of course, the airlines are all responded by adding an able to see the full cost fee. But besides that, <laughs> the airlines will have to show all their hidden fees. Right now, every credit card company is like, don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact, don't, don't, don't he's, he's walking right by, don't look at him. Of course, out of spite, now the airlines are being too honest. Uh, today, pilots are like, well, oh, folks, uh, this turbulence is something to worry about. Uh, <laughs> Listen to this, a new poll found that in a potential 2024 matchup, Biden and Trump are essentially tied. Now keep in mind, the poll has a three-point margin of error and a 10-point margin of these guys are like 80, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> well, everybody is talking about this, Rihanna just announced that she is headlining the 2023 Super Bowl halftime show. Rihanna! But it's Rihanna, so she was like, wow, this is one of the top 10 honors of my week. <laughs> you can tell fans are excited because at the beginning of every game, the announcer is like, and remember, the winning team advances to the Rihanna concert. Yeah! And it was just announced that Apple Music has replaced Pepsi as the sponsor of the Super Bowl halftime show. And just like with Pepsi, the NFL was told, we don't have Spotify. Is Apple Music okay? <laughs> Of course, if it rains, Rihanna will stand under an umbrella. <laughs> or she'll have to be submerged in a bowl of rice for two days. Since it's apple, that's the way apple. During, uh, speaking of the NFL, during yesterday's game, if you saw this, between the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills, Miami's punter had his kick blocked in a pretty unfortunate way. So let's, watch this. I don't know, this is, this is risky. And it was, oh my goodness, blocked indeed. Let's see if we can get a, oh, it oh, hit the, his own the personal protector, Sherfield. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Refs ruled it a safety, but said it was very close to a sack. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Thank you. This is very interesting. I saw that a school in Australia banned a student for having an inappropriate mullet. <laughs> Good thing we don't have any rules like that here at The Tonight Show. Right, Higgins? Right on, brother. <laughs> Can't lock down these locks. Bottom up, homie. I hear that, brother. The administrators at that school need to take a chill pill, brother. If I went to that school and they tried to tame my mullet, you know what I tell them? What? <laughs> I tell them this, brother. <laughs> Rock and roll, brother. Hot damn, Come brother. On. Yeah! I heard that grocery prices are skyrocketing due to a nationwide butter shortage. Ooh. It's bad. At CVS, they moved the Land Lakes behind a locked display case. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest, Biden might have survived the gas crisis, but there's no way in hell he's going to make it through a butter shortage. No way. <laughs> due to uh, Hurricane Ian, the January 6th committee just postponed its public hearing that was scheduled for tomorrow. All day, Trump was praying for a rain delay like a pitcher facing Aaron Judge. Like, please. <laughs> yep. The hearing is postponed this morning. Trump woke up like Kevin in Home Alone. He's like, I made my hearing disappear. <laughs> Some political news. Senator Bernie Sanders said that he hasn't yet decided whether he will run for president again in 2024. Yeah, people are like, president of what? <laughs> yep, Bernie still hasn't decided. Meanwhile, everyone else is like, how many times do we have to decide this? <laughs> no. 
Right now, Biden is thinking, please run so I look like the hot young stud. Please. <laughs> Yeah, well, ahead of midterm elections, House GOP leader Kevin McCarthy and other House Republicans put out a new ad promoting their agenda. But there was one problem. Some of the footage in the ad that was supposed to be America was actually footage from Russia. <laughs> it's just, that's real. And uh, that wasn't the only mistake. Take a look at this spot. There is only one America. From the White House to the Space Needle. From New York to Cincinnati. From the Liberty Bell to Mount Rushmore. This November, send a message to President Biden. Vote Republican. This has been a message from Kevin McCarthy. Yeah, there's, there's so many. Not even close. Little. Little over there. Speaking of Russia, I just heard that they, uh, they announced they're boycotting next year's Oscars. Oh, mm, that's a tough break for Russia's biggest movie this year. I actually have a lot to worry about, darling. Uh, <laughs> You guys see this last night? NASA intentionally crashed a spacecraft into an asteroid to see if it could stop one coming towards Earth in the future. Go, NASA. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Space Force is like, cool, cool. So what exactly is our role again? Like, what, what do we do? <laughs> hey, listen to this. I heard that the CIA just launched its own podcast. The CIA was like, after 75 years of listening to you, now you can listen to us. <laughs> Well, guys, everyone loves TikTok, but sometimes you just want to skip through the boring parts of a video and get right to the good part. Well, it turns out you can uh, with, with this new thing that we're doing on the show. For instance, if you're watching a video here, you can skip this part and go right to this part. <laughs> Let me give you another example. You can skip this part and go right to this part. <laughs> the final example, you can skip this part. I'm doing a part two to the treadmill video I did just recently. Yeah, and just go right to this part. <laughs> there you go, perfect. Just so you know that's available. Switching gears ahead of the holiday season, Macy's announced plans to hire more than 40,000 new workers. So divide that between the remaining Macy's locations and you have 40,000 per store. <laughs> uh, some more business news. Uh, in an effort to fight theft, retailers like Home Depot are now locking up items. I'm not sure I trust Home Depot on security when they can't even keep birds out. <laughs> some TV news the other night, uh, there was a new... <laughs> There's always birds in Home Depot oh, flying around here. Oh, like, what's this bird doing in here? Come on. Not a bird store. Some TV news. Uh, the other night, there was an all-new episode of Celebrity Wheel of Fortune, and one of the contestants, uh, Snoop Dogg, had a little trouble with some of the puzzles. This is real. <laughs> Check this out. Chip. S swallowing the, the knot. <laughs> that, no, that's not right. Chip. Airport teacher. No. That's Snoop. Toilet Atlas. <laughs> I have no idea. And it's Snoop. Baking onions. <laughs> Something was baked that night. It wasn't onions. Well, guys, this should put you in an even better mood. Today is National Drink Beer Day. I understood when some of my writers stayed home Monday and Tuesday for Rosh Hashanah, but today was pushing it. I, I was like, really? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a day that always starts off fun, then ends with, no, officer, you have the right to remain silent. <laughs> we have National Drink Beer Day, and of course, for all those who don't celebrate, there's Coors Light. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get to some news. Thank you. Um, well, guys, today, former President Trump said that the war between Russia and Ukraine would have never happened if he were in office. And even... <laughs> he even offered to lead peace talks between the two countries. Yeah, Trump said, I'm an expert on foreign affairs. I've had affairs with many foreigners. <laughs> Speaking of Trump, according to a new book, at one point during his presidency, he nearly fired Ivanka and Jared over Twitter. 
Meanwhile, Eric and Don Jr. were like, wait a minute, he follows you guys on Twitter? <laughs> Well, listen to this. Apparently, Democratic insiders are impressed with Gavin Newsom's recent criticism of Republicans and something that he's gearing up to run for president. <laughs> it's interesting. <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah it's great. Uh, it's like, because it, everyone was on this side of the crowd. And <laughs> it's just very odd, yeah. I think it's just very interesting, because if you put Newsom in one of those aging apps, uh, you pretty much get Joe Biden. And I just go, that's very interesting, very similar. A little tweak up. Uh, hey, guys, I heard that Kia recalled 70,000 Sorrento and Sportage SUVs after multiple reports of fires and localized melting incidents. <laughs> Kia was like, look, on the bright side, you now have the world's biggest panini maker. So that's pretty good. I mean, <laughs> apparently, the tow hitch in the back could melt. My question is, who's towing something with a Kia? <laughs> Want me to move that tricycle for you? Hook her up to the back. Let's go. Move that. Let's go, Ant. Let's go. We're going to go down the... Well, get this. McDonald's just announced that they're going to start selling Happy Meals with toys for adults. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Happy Meals with adult toys. What could possibly go wrong? Some more business news. For the first time in 10 years, M&Ms are adding a new character to the mix, a purple peanut M&M. Here she is. Oh. Yeah. A purple peanut M&M. Yeah, I guess the blue and red M&Ms date went really well. What? Uh... Adult <laughs> toys. I, 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 That's not Grimace. Uh... <laughs> Switching gears, uh... Pokemon just unveiled a new character called Wiglet. Ooh. Take a look at this. Uh, it was... <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the That's toys in the adult Happy Meal. Yeah, that's exactly right, yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, did you guys see this last night at a concert in D.C.? Lizzo played a never-used crystal flute that once belonged to President James Madison. Ooh. No one had played it in 200 years, so it was about damn time. And, uh, City is buzzing tonight because last night in Toronto, Yankee superstar Aaron Judge hit his 61st home run of the season, tying Roger Maris's American League record. Yep, Aaron Judge did the impossible. He made non Yankee fans root for the Yankees. Uh, it was a special moment. New Yorkers haven't cheered like this since Bill de Blasio left office. It was really amazing. <laughs> fans waited 61 years for this to happen. That's right, six decades of waiting for one exciting moment. That sums up baseball pretty well. Uh, <laughs> it was a historic night for Aaron Judge, and you could tell the announcer was pretty excited, but I'm not sure about his home run call. Take a listen to this. Swung on and drilled deep left field. It is gone! He's got it. Move over 69. The new hot thing to do in the bedroom is 61. It's bum to the bum bum. He's rounding the bases like a senior on prom night. He's about to hear something I've never heard from my dad, which is, I'm proud of you, son. Man, oh, man, that ball left faster than my wife with the pool boy. Oh, baby! <laughs> wow. You surprised us. That was inappropriate, I thought. Very emotional for him. Yeah, uh, I thought, uh, of course, a lot of people went from the game hoping to catch the home run ball. They go to the game and, oh my gosh, if I catch this, it was worth a quarter of a million dollars if you caught the ball. And one guy came pretty close. Here he is. Look at this. Look at this. Less than, <laughs> less than one foot away. Yeah. Yeah, oh my gosh. And then every guy who shows up to the game with a fishing net was like, well, who's laughing now? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and get this, the guy, this is real, the guy who almost caught the ball was a Toronto Blue Jays fan named, and this is real, Frankie Lasagna. <laughs> what? Yeah. Frankie Lasagna? Frankie Lasagna is that fan right there, yeah. It's, Frankie Lasagna, it sounds like a name you get from the Olive Garden Witness Protection Program. <laughs> Frankie Lasagna sounds like the name Robert De Niro checks into hotels to avoid paparazzi. <laughs> like... Hey. Frank Lasagna sounds like the name of Trump's next lawyer. It's like, <laughs> Frank Lasagna is the greatest. 
Speaking of Trump, it was just revealed that during the FBI's search of Mar-a-Lago, they seized 200,000 pages of documents from the former president. 200,000 pages. He's like a grandpa who prints every email. <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> yeah, if the FBI delayed their search another day, the TV show Hoarders would have beat them to it. <laughs> Some more news. I read that the Nord Stream pipelines, which funnel gas from Russia to Europe, have started leaking due to underwater explosions. And the U.S. and Europe think that Russia is responsible. Ooh. Yeah, a leaky pipeline. Today, President Biden was like, oh, I have a great urologist for that. <laughs> hey, guys, listen to this. A new poll shows that more Democrats are now saying they want Biden to run for re-election. And if he doesn't, Vice President Harris is their top choice. That poll uh, was conducted among two people, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. <laughs> Meanwhile, I saw that Bernie Sanders is leaving the door open for another presidential run in 2024. He'll be 83 years old. When other members of the House heard about this, they had some thoughts. For example, first up, Congressman Ken Buck said, I'm not sure if that's such a good idea. I mean, at 83, he's not exactly a young, well, my last name. <laughs> Next up, Congressman Jim Banks said, I disagree. We need someone in the White House who's not afraid to protect the little guy and go after the big, well, my last name. <laughs> And Congressman Tom Cotton said, but we do want a candidate whose hair looks like a giant ball of, well, my last name. <laughs> and Congressman Colin Allred said, I still vote for him. I like that he talks so loud that his face turns, well, my last name. <laughs> and Congressman Virginia Fox said, what about that Newsom guy in California? I saw the TV the other day. He's a stone cold, well, my last name. <laughs> and Congressman Dusty Johnson said, Bernie Sanders is too old. I mean, I've seen a few times at the gym and confirmed he's got a real, well, my full name. And finally, Senator Roy Blunt said, if I were him, I'd just retire, go back to Vermont, call up Ben and Jerry, and light up a big fat, well, my last name. There you go. <laughs> Guys, there's a lot of buzz around the new horror movie, Smile. Do you hear about this movie? Mm. Everybody, this is going to be the big movie this weekend. Uh, it's expected to be such a big hit, they're already planning on making a franchise out of it. Yeah, take a look at the trailer I just saw. This Friday, don't miss the premiere of Smile. And then be sure to catch all the heart-stopping sequels. Half Smile, Nervous Smile, Your Friend Wins the Lottery Smile, You Ran Into Your Ex With Their New Baby Smile, Your Boss Told You A Really Bad Joke Smile, Waiters Singing Happy Birthday To You Smile, You're Taking A Picture And Don't Know How To Do A Normal Human Smile Smile, and Meeting Your Tinder Date In Person For The First Time Smile. Coming soon. Ah, very interesting. Uh, well, some business news. I saw that Hefty just released new pumpkin spice scented trash bags. <laughs> right now, all the raccoons are like, I know it's basic, but I still love it. Okay, can I just say? Uh, well, this is interesting. According to a new, uh, new research, the pandemic may have changed people's personalities forever. I'm not sure I've noticed anyone acting differently. I mean, what, what are you, Higgins? Wouldn't know about that, Jack. <laughs> Bar's been the same. Take it from Baccarat Steve. All Baccarat Steve has ever cared about is the click, 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 and the clack of the roulette wheel. Seeing those triple cherries come up on my favorite slot machine and shoplifting crab legs from Circus Circus Buffet. Now, come on, lucky fours. <laughs> Quest, have you, have you noticed Higgins have been acting differently? <laughs> I don't pay mind to anybody but me. My leather jacket and my hog. <laughs> She's a 78 Harley shovelhead, and uh, there's nothing more than I love in life than a little whipping her down the South Dakota prairie, hitting 80 miles per hour while the old lady sits behind and feeds me meatballs from Olive Garden. <laughs> James, do you think people's personalities changed because of the pandemic? You know me, Jimmy. <laughs> I've always been the same. A fan of all things. Science fiction. <laughs> Science fiction and geek culture. <laughs> I'm the biggest fan of House of the Dragon. But this side, this side of restaurants, <laughs> LOL. <laughs> I've even learned the language spoken by the elves on the show. Hi, Valerian. Check this out. <clears throat> Ex 
jacuzzi, knee j j la ne ja sa ne ja and bisa panera heaven. Hey, okay, broccoli, cheddar, sopa. Sistoli spicy. Nike Gia. Ziri Mia. Talia. New House of Vesta. Say Keely. Let it go. Oh my God. Nia. Rocky Rose. Giga leave me. Haley gone. He ha, fi ha, ti. Aye, 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 I, I had no idea. Okay. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank, yeah. Thank you. thank you, James. Wow, I guess. I, right? I don't know. Wow, man. That's odd. Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. Finally, <laughs> a new survey found that over a quarter. I should let everyone at, know, at home know that uh, <laughs> James never saw those cute cards or wore that wig until just now. He had no idea. We just <laughs> surprised him on the spot. <laughs> Finally, a new survey found that over a quarter of Americans have been so hangry that they've actually eaten out of the garbage. <laughs> the most common explanation they gave, for some reason, the trash bags smell like pumpkin spice. <laughs> well, this is nice. Today, President Biden hosted the White House's first ever Rosh Hashanah party to celebrate the Jewish New Year. Yeah. I think, uh, I think, I think Biden was confused because he ended his speech by saying, now let's watch Ryan Seacrest do the countdown. And you go... <laughs> Yeah, they celebrated today, even though Rosh Hashanah was Monday. <laughs> it's like setting off fireworks on the 9th of July. You know what I'm saying? It's fun, but, is it... but it was a nice party, although it got awkward when Biden was offered challah and said, you want me to speak louder? <laughs> I want that bread you're holding. Challah at your boy, Jack. <laughs> then a few hours later, the president hosted a reception for Hispanic Heritage Month. Biden's staff was like, hey, might as well knock out all the cringy gaffes in one day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Biden held events for the Jewish New Year and Hispanic Heritage Month. Staffers watched Biden the way Aaron Judge's mom nervously watches his at-bats. Like, come on, buddy, you can do this. You can do this. Don't mess. <laughs> Meanwhile, today, Putin illegally claimed four regions of Ukraine as part of Russia. And to celebrate, Putin and a few other leaders had a pretty interesting handshake. Take a look at this. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rest easy, Russia. That guy's coordinating your war. Uh, <laughs> that handshake looked like a sandwich made up of tiny white sausages, didn't it? <laughs> well, uh, this is big. Earlier tonight, Elon Musk hosted Tesla's Artificial Intelligence Day, and he was expected to unveil Tesla Bot, a humanoid robot designed to help with boring, repetitive tasks, stuff that humans don't want to do anymore. For example, Tesla bot can do the laundry. Mm. Or it can clean the kitchen. It can go to your son's piano recital. <laughs> then it can explain to your crying son why you skipped his recital and sent a humanoid <laughs> robot instead. Get uninvited from Thanksgiving. Get uninvited from your marriage. Live in your car for 40 years. One day you drive by a little white church. What's that beautiful music? You head inside. It's a piano recital. Break down crying. Realize Tesla bot took everything from you. <laughs> Plot to murder Tesla bot. Oh no, he's too strong. He's got you pinned. This is it. You walk towards the light. But wait, who's that mysterious figure pulling Tesla bot off of you? It's your son. He's a man now, and he forgives you. You kill Tesla bot together. Hug your son. Tell him you're so proud of him. He smiles, but something's off. Oh God, your son is a Tesla bot. Some movie news uh, today, 29 years after the original Hocus Pocus 2 premiered on Disney Plus. 
The movie looks great. It's about three witches who come back to life after Lizzo starts playing a 200-year-old flute. <laughs> uh, hey, did you guys see this? Tomorrow is former President Jimmy Carter's 98th birthday. Oh. Yeah, and this is exciting. He's also going to run for a second term. Oh. <laughs> it's always nice to hear about a famous Jimmy who doesn't host a late-night talk show, isn't it? And finally, I read that a group of paleontologists just found fish teeth that are 14 million years older than any teeth found from any other species. I, we actually got in contact with the paleontologists responsible for the find. Here's what they had to say. The first one said, this was a completely unexpected discovery. This next one said, yeah, we'd actually been digging for weeks and come up with absolutely nothing. Then all of a sudden, our other partner found the teeth out of nowhere. And finally, the last scientist said, yes, it was the craziest <laughs> thing. All of a sudden, boom, infant fist teeth. Unrelated question. Does anyone have the number for an emergency dentist? I'm really happy for those guys. Hey, hey.